of Welcome to the Galaxy Management Channel here. I am here with... Brianna Vish. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're very welcome. Uh, what can you tell me about Octopus? Well, did you watch the trailer? Yes, I did. First of all, what did you, you liked it? Yes. Nice. So, it's set in a small town, regional Queensland, and it's basically just like your average people, like you or me, and it's what happens when aliens invade and these people are sort of forced to unite and then fight not only for their own lives, but the survival of the human race. And what can you tell me about one point? With one word, uh, how, oh, you you just, how can you describe your character? There's a word I want to say that's a spoiler, so I won't. I'll just say resilient. <laughs> and with uh, all the stunts and action these days, what do you like all about my stunts? Well, I think it's so much fun. It's a chance to play. Um, I mean, they keep us very, very safe. Uh, but there is a part of it that's almost like dance. It's like a choreographed routine, and, and it makes it it makes it so much fun. It's wonderful. And last but not least, uh, in the acting industry, um, what do you like about the acting industry? And how hard and challenges in the acting industry? How hard can you be acting wise? There are a lot of challenges, but I think that the rewards far outweigh any of the challenges. Just getting to come to these conventions and meet people. I think that's a wonderful thing about what we do. It's like it's an escape for other people. It's a chance to check out of your own life and whatever you may be going through and you get to take them to another world. And that is such a privilege. It's wonderful. Well, thank you, Rihanna, no, for this you. awesome interview. Uh, and I am definitely looking forward to seeing you. Okay. Wonderful. So thank you, guys. And yeah, support Rihanna. Thank you. Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome to the Galaxy Manager channel here. I am here with Charles. Um, what can you tell me about Occupation? Uh, uh, occupation, it's, uh, it's an alien invasion film. Uh, but unlike most alien invasion films, it's not about, we don't know about the aliens invading the world or invading a huge city. Um, Focus is a small country town in the outback New South Wales. And the film is about how a small, regular country folk they're not superheroes, they're regular folk. I'm up by the, the local mango farmer. And uh, we just come together and find a way to fight back. And to describe your character in one word, how would you describe it? Cantankerous. In the very first scene of the film, he's fighting. And it's kind of a promise to the audience that if you see this guy in the film again, he will be fighting. So he, he fights back no matter what. Uh, and um, with the acting industry, um, I, I live in uh, Los Angeles. I've been working in Northern America for the last 12 years. Every project you do, there are Australians in it. And they love Australian actors in the States. And the, the two things you keep hearing are Aussie actors feels and they work harder than their lives. And that's, that's a huge thing, you know. For someone who will come in and try anything. If it doesn't work out, if it screws up, let's go, oh, cool, let's go to take two. They're not precious about it like some American actors can be, no names. Desperate housewives. So, yeah. Uh, and last but not least, um, what tips would you give young people? Oh, gosh. Um, I. I was lucky. I went to uh, I went to drama school. I went to NIDA, and, and just the fact that I went to that school I opened up all the doors. So if you can do that, that is a great way to go. Go and study at Hollywood for three years. Um, I also get um, a lot of a lot of these guys, and a lot of uh, working actors going. How can I make the leap from Australia to the States? And uh, most of the actors who've done that have really hit it. They had a project here that was big. They had a, a dead calm or a romper stopper or a chopper or something like that. So the other piece of advice I, I always give young actors is stay, stay where you are and wait till you get that big project. And if you can get that, then you're in at the highest level in LA. You know? And until you do that, then you're just one of about 100,000 actors around LA with a headshot. So, yeah, you know, you 
work hard and, uh, and take the luck where you can have it. Well, thank you, Charles, for this awesome big interview and I support Charles in occupation. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We just saw the final cut of the film the other day and it's lovely. It's, it's a really fun ride, so I hope you enjoy it. Hello guys, welcome to the Galaxy Mantra channel here. I am with Dan Ewing from Occupation. So, what can you tell me about Occupation? First of all, good to see you again brother, you good? Hi. Big man. hello to everyone watching the channel. Um, what can I tell you about Occupation? Uh, it's huge. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great, so it's a great uh, take on the genre. So people have seen uh, sort of Independence Days and Red Dawn. So it's basically a mix of the two. So small town Australia has to fight off an alien invasion, uh, and you're going to love it because you know in the bigger ones, let's be honest, a million people die, and it's kind of you don't really care. These these characters are people you know. I'm not just talking about the actors. I'm talking about it's the, the local nurse. You got the local footy captain, the local farmer. You know, it's, it's a, the local radio host. There's, there's people you know. So it's good. And what can you describe your character? Conflicted. So deep. So deep. And uh, with the acting industry in Australia so doing amazing job and everything, uh, what can you say about that? Like the Australian industry? Um, I think we're at a real sort of turning of the guard. So what I mean by that is, um, you know, there's big American films that have shot here. But, you know, let's be honest, they, they come, they, it's good for a while, and then all the money goes. By Aussie, um, Aussie production companies making films of this size, not only do we make it here and we employ people, but the profits stay here and we do more, which I think is really important. Um, and it, so it's no longer just movies like The Castle or, say, Chopper that are iconic. We can do these bigger action films. I mean, look around. I mean, when was the last time you saw an Aussie, an Aussie film with a poster like that? You know what I mean? So it's, uh, I think we're at a really exciting time. And last but not least, what would you give people tips to me personally to get into the action get into it, just to do it, you know what I mean? You've really just got to decide to do it and have a good, uh, get into it for a good reason. Um, fame is not the reason, you know, fame is a very false metric, it's a very shallow thing, because there's always going to be someone more famous, you know what I mean? You, you've got to do it for the love. Um, and as far as actually getting into it, actually the, the sort of, uh, the process for doing it, get into classes in any major city, any community, get in whether it's screen acting or theatre, just get in and start doing it. You know, not everyone's going to land the biggest act in Australia first off, you're going to start, you're going to start slowly but surely getting into short films and, and who knows, you know, and just keep, and keep going. You know, you know uh, I think Rhiannon said it perfectly, you know, get used to the word no. And the word no is not a bad thing, it just means you're not the right person for that job. You know, as long as you're doing good work, the word no is it doesn't have to be scary. Well, thank you, Dan, for this awesome interview and support Dan in occupation. Thank you, guys, and uh, thank everyone for watching, and thank you again, brother. Huge support of Australian film, legend. Thank you so much.